hope I'm in focus because if I'm not, I'm never doing this again. I am. I just had the wrong thing on. I can't, I haven't even finished the, oops. Okay. Another video, yay! Oh crap, oh crap. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, first of all, this is my second time filming this. I was completely out of focus for the entire time because I need to wear my glasses, but I can see that there's a glare from the light, so I don't wear my glasses. I'm so annoyed. Refilming part two. Not part two. Take two. That's not how you do it. It's like that. But today I'm going to be talking about fragrances that I don't necessarily like. Please do not get offended if I mention a perfume that you absolutely love. This is my own personal opinion. We all have different body chemistries. We all have different tastes. These are just perfumes I don't like and yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment your thoughts. Okay, so the first scent I'm going to be mentioning is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I have the sample right here. I'm so upset. This is such a popular perfume, but I hate it. Okay, so the first time I smelt this, I remember it just got released, it was in the store. I smelt it from the bottle and I knew instantly that I didn't like it. So I never gave it a second look ever again. I was always just contemplating giving it a chance and buying it just for the bottle because the bottle is beautiful, insanely beautiful. Like, don't buy it just for the bottle. Remember, you don't like this scent. Don't buy it. When I order perfume, I sometimes get samples, so I was like, okay, let me give this a chance mm, on my skin. So I waited until I was in the mood um, so I could really give it a chance. So I spritzed it on my skin, on my wrist. I don't know if it was my wrist or the crook of my elbow. And this scent, just as soon as I spritzed it, I just remembered everything I hate about this perfume. Oh my God. This perfume just turned so nasty on me. I don't know if it's my... Body chemistry just doesn't agree with this perfume because that can happen sometimes. This thing was so strong, I kept getting whiffs of it and I was like, okay, let me give it a chance. Let me let it sit on my skin for a few hours. And let me see, maybe it will turn nice. But this perfume just turned so stinky, like just like a sweaty, dirty, and it, it just, I was not enjoying it at all. I mean, I, I got a few of the floral notes in there coming through but it was very unpleasant oh another thing this scent is beast mode this scent was so strong and this was just from a sample when i had enough and i knew i didn't like it i was waiting for it to fade away this scent would not budge i tried to wash it off i could still get whiffs of it i was feeling nauseous just ended up just spritzing myself with different perfume just to get rid of that scent so if you're looking for a beast mode perfume that will last you the entire day um, Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I just sprayed it once from the sample. I will never, um, I can't, I haven't even finished the, oops, I haven't even finished the sample, so that's saying something. I do really enjoy patchouli, and I know this one does have patchouli. In some perfumes, the patchouli can smell really dirty to me, and that's exactly how this perfume smelled like. I think it, the patchouli was just so overpowering in this, and I just really didn't enjoy it. The next scent that I absolutely hate, and I only recently found out why I probably hate it, is Eden. A funny story about Eden, actually. So I remember when I told my mum how much I don't like this perfume, my mum actually said to me, when she got pregnant with me, she hated this perfume she it made her feel sick she hated this perfume so much i just find it so funny like i basically hated this perfume from the womb and i made my mum hate it <laughs> it's just so funny it's just, it's another um unpleasant green like it's a dirty green scent almost i don't know how to describe but all i know is i hate it i've never cared to look into it or anything i know how much i hate this it's one of those scents that if i smell it from the bottle I just I want to cough because I don't I genuinely hate it that much okay so another green scent that I want to talk about that I really don't like and I'm really upset I don't like this is Aura Muggler the bottle is absolutely beautiful again this scent to me straight away as soon as I smell it I would describe it as a very mucky earthy it smells like a forest that has just been rained in like it smells like a damp mucky unpleasant earthy green uh, that's what this smells like i mean when it's in the air because my mom has worn this and when she walks past me i can smell it in the air and i'm like what is that and she's like it's alien not alien sorry aura muggler yeah and i'm like oh 
she's like, do you like it? And I'm like, mm, I yeah. yeah, so I think maybe because it might have vanilla in it, maybe I can smell vanilla in the air, but just straight from the bottle or when you first spritz it or just in general, I just don't really enjoy this scent. So you can probably tell I don't enjoy green, woodsy, rainforest, jungly kind of scents because that's what this reminds me of. And it's such a shame because one, the bottle is gorgeous and two, I know the performance is insane. They last forever on the skin, they project well, they're just so good with performing and it's such a shame. So that's Aura Mugler. Another one I want to talk about, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but it's L'Emperatrice number three by Dolce & Gabbana. I knew straight away I did not like this scent. So this has a rhubarb in it. Oh, also Aura Mugler also has a rhubarb leaf in it. So I think that it's just that sour note of rhubarb. I can really smell it very strong like um, my nose is very sensitive to rhubarb and that sour note this scent l'emperatrice also has rhubarb in it that might be what i really dislike initially when i smell this every time i smell it especially from the bottle it gives me the reaction like i've just sucked on a lemon like it makes me squirm like every time i smell this it's so bitter and so sour and i really don't enjoy it and i know this is a popular one for a lot of girls especially in the spring summer time like I'm always looking for a beautiful fresh spring summer scent but predominantly these spring summer scents are going to have a lot of citrus in them sour notes or a lot of lemon notes or rhubarb or whatever so that's why I really just enjoy perfume more in the winter time because that's more where my taste is and that's what this scent makes me think of it's very bitter there is some juicy watermelon in there which I if I smell hard enough I do detect it but it's just not enough for me to enjoy this scent and I really don't like this one. Um, another one I want to talk about, I actually have it here with me. It's Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy, It's what the bottle looks like. This was probably one of my first blind buys and I can't tell you how disappointed I was when I bought this one. Oh man. When I first ordered it I wanted to like it so much and I was like I know I'm gonna like it and you know what I said to myself I was like it would be so funny my first blind buy imagine I hate it ha 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 and guess what I did I hate it. If you smell it too much it makes me feel nauseous and I love sweet scents but the first point I'm gonna make about this is this is not sweet to me. I mean okay there's a sweet aspect about it but it's like a very tart again a very tart bitter sweet there's something tart about this and I don't know what it is. Everyone was hyping this up. A lot of people describe this as, you know, I could smell marshmallows and candy floss. And this should smell how pink sugar smells, in my opinion, you know? You guys already know how much I love that perfume, pink sugar, so it's nothing to do with it being too sweet. But this perfume, I'm gonna spray some. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely like a tart, bitter note in here and I, I just can't put my finger on what it is. So this smells like it's trying so hard to be sweet, but it's just not, it's not making the cut. Like it's not, it's not quite made it. The bottle is pretty. I would, I'll keep, when it runs out, I'll probably keep the bottle or put it on a, on my shelf or something, put it on display. And I was saying that this smells a lot like someone is making candy floss in a broken candy floss machine and the smoke is mixing in with the smell of that candy floss. That's what this smells like. It's like trying to be sweet. You're trying to smell the sweet, but the bitterness just takes over. But this really resembles Britney Spears fantasy, you know, the pink bottle, which I also really hate. I don't like that perfume. I mean, I used to wear it when I was 11, 12. I think maybe I let it expire or something. And now I just can't unsmell that expired note in all the Britney Spears fantasy range now, but this smells so much like Britney Spears fantasy. So it is a little bit nostalgic when I think of that, but when I was like 11, 12. Um, but that's what this one smells like. I will definitely, definitely not be repurchasing this. I bought 100 mil and it's taking me ages to go through it because it's the largest size and 100 mils take long to go through anyway. I'm literally dropping everything today, oh my God. Ariana Grande is sweet like candy. I will not be purchasing you again. You are not sweet like candy, you are bitter like lemons. I told myself that was the last time I blind buy a perfume. That was a lie because I blind bought Olympia Legend. This one I really wanted to like. Oh my god, I'm so upset that I don't like this one. I recently just sold it as well, by the way, because I don't even want it in my collection. This to me just smells just everything opposite to what I was expecting it to smell. I thought it was going to be like a vanilla, cloyingly sweet, tonka bean 
scent but I don't get any of that. When I sprayed this, it smelled exactly like... When I was young, I used to collect My Little Ponies and I had one particular one. She was my favourite. Her name was Coconut Grove. And she had a little coconut sticker on her and I used to smell her all the time. She smelled like coconuts. This smelled exactly like coconuts. Like My Coconut Grove, My Little Pony. But to be even more specific, this smelled so much like, like a fancy coconut, like a sunscreen that is coconut scented that's exactly what it smelled like i was like this doesn't even have coconut in it where is this coconut coming from when i watched more reviews other people have picked up on this coconut note and there is no coconut listed in there so what is in there that's making it smell like coconut i don't know i think i was more disappointed with the fact that it didn't smell how i expected it to smell i wanted this to be cloyingly sweet and it wasn't maybe it is for some people some people say they hate it because it's too sweet maybe my sweet tolerance is very high i don't know um but yeah Okay, so another perfume that I dislike is Marc Jacobs Daisy. Um, I have a baby bottle here. Look how cute. The, the bottles are so cute. It's just so boring. There's so many things I could describe this as. It's boring. It's generic. It's, it's, it's not interesting, which is the same as boring. It smells cheap. It smells like cheap body spray. And this is not just with Daisy. It's with a lot of perfumes in the Marc Jacobs range. And just another example, this is just an empty bottle of Marc Jacobs Dot. See, it's just, it's just not interesting enough. Besides the bottles, they look gorgeous. Some people will be like, nah, that's tacky. I could do without that. But I love the bottles. I think they're so cute. But yeah, just Marc Jacobs Daisy in general. It's just very boring. They're just way too overpriced for what they are. They don't last long. They smell cheap. They're not interesting enough. I just don't like the Marc Jacobs range. Apart from Decadence, I've smelled Decadence and I really enjoy that one. I don't actually have it, but I do like Decadence. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this if you love Marc Jacobs Daisy. I know it's probably a lot of people's signature. People would describe it as mass appealing. A lot of people enjoy smelling this one. Okay, and the last one I want to talk about is Chanel number no. 5. This is a really old bottle. So this is just... Oh, this is just... Okay, it's not not pleasant. It's pleasant. But it's just so dated. I think this came out 1920... Yeah, this is from the 1920s. That's insane. How is Chanel still milking this? It's from the 1920s. Let it go. It's just so old-fashioned and... This might have been popular back in the 1920s, but it's for, I, it doesn't disappear. I smell it all around me whenever I spray this. Like I can smell this now, and I hope it hasn't gone on me because I don't want to smell of this one. But it's not an awful scent. Like To me, it just smells like whatever age you are, please don't get offended if you wear this and if you love this. By all means, please wear it. To me, it just smells like a granny who who is very put together she likes to look after herself she you know her hair's done up nice she wears a red lipstick you know she likes to make sure she's dressed well she's very well groomed that's what this perfume makes me think of like an old lady who's very put together that's exactly what this reminds me of and i'm just so surprised that this is still being advertised like i from the 1920s till now like chanel are just milking it at this point i don't even know who buys chanel not Chanel, Chanel number no. 5 anymore. But I'm sure in about 50 years, people will be saying the same thing about Chanel Mademoiselle. Because right now, that's the current Chanel. Like Chanel Mademoiselle, Chanel Chance. Those are the current Chanel fragrances that everyone goes crazy for. And people of all ages are wearing right now. So I could probably imagine that is what this was back in the day. So probably in 50, 60 years, people will be slating Mademoiselle and Chance for the same reason I am, they'll just be like, oh, it's really old, it's dated. Those are just a few perfumes that I don't particularly like. My taste could change 10, 12 years, you never know. I could I could absolutely love these perfumes in the future. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments, are there any fragrances that you don't particularly like that a lot of people rave about? But I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless, and please let me know down in the comments, are there any here that you love it'll be so interesting to find out if there are any perfumes here that any of you guys actually love and smell completely different please show your support by liking this video um subscribe if you haven't already and if you are subscribed i love you so much i really want to try and make more videos hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever i post a video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll chat to you guys later bye